Morning, Trig Class. It is Wednesday, April 29th, when you see this video. I'm going to do some stuff today. Thursday, tomorrow, um, no new material. We're just going to review what we've looked at. And Friday and Monday, you're not really in school. Um, not really in school. I will be. You can sure contact me if you need help. All right. Hey, our topic today is co-terminal angles. It's co-terminal angles is our, our topic for today. Think of a snowboarder. Think of a snowboarder. Snowboard is going straight down the hill and doesn't turn at all. They just go straight down the hill. Another one jumps and does a 360, which they go all the way around and they stick the landing and they end up going the exact same direction. And somebody really good does two spins around, 360, 360, a 720. They all end up going the exact same direction. That's what coterminal angles are. So if you'd look here, here's 30 degrees. Remember we would start our angle here on the initial side and we'd go 30 degrees there. Well if we would go once more around like a snowboarder, we'd go one more time around, we end up in the same place and we've gone around 30 degrees plus 360 degrees, we've gone 390 degrees. We end up in the same place. And if we'd go around again, It would be another 360 we would add to that, and on, and on, and on. We could also go back the other direction. So the formula you're going to use is this. The degrees plus 360 times n, where n is an integer, and by the way, n could also be negative 1. So some of the coterminal angles, think of snowboarders going the same direction, some of the coterminal angles would be 30 plus 360, Another 360, <coughs> sorry about that. Also another one could be negative one, so it'd be 360 plus negative three, I'm sorry, 30 plus negative 360, and there's your negative 330. Cool. On your radians, it's the same thing, on your radians, here is pi over four, here is pi over four. Is pi over 4. Say, if you were to go around again, there's your pi, you'd go around again, you would have gone around 2 pi, which is the same as 360. We need common denominators. 2 pi will become 8 pi over 4, pi over 4, 1 pi over 4, and that would be 9 pi over 4, which is not written on this sheet. Four. Say, as I'm thinking of this, some of you must have watched a video where somebody put the pi in front of the nine. Put put the number first. And so then in radians, here we go. If you want to know some coterminals end the same way, think snowboarders go and end in the same place. Pi over three times two pi. When n is one, we need common denominators, make 2 pi into 6 thirds, and there's your 7 pi over 3. All right, new material Thursday, no new material. We'll just go over stuff. Have a great day.